Fellas, keep your girl in check if she don't deserve pine nuts. <laughs> he laughing. <laughs> he laughing because he know. Salmon is one of the easiest, healthiest, and tastiest proteins that you can find at any modern American grocery store today. And it makes for a very fancy, very impressive date night dinner. But I feel like most people don't cook with fish, probably because it's a little bit unfamiliar and scary. Well, that ends today. Just for y'all scaredy cats, I'm breaking everything down into three major things that you gotta know. The fish, the prep, and the cook. Number one, the fish. Start with your salmon, skin on. I know that not everybody likes the skin. And even if you're not gonna eat it, you can peel it off after this little guy cooks. The skin takes the brunt of the heat, protecting the delicate flesh, getting nice and crispy. Plus, cooking fish with the skin on is the easiest way to maximize the nutritional value. A typical salmon portion is six to eight ounces. So if you buy a pound, cut it in half. Or if you bought the frozen stuff, it's probably already pre-portioned. There are a million ways to dress up a piece of fish, especially salmon. Salmon's beautiful and delicious. It's the belle of the ball. It's very popular. And when you're popular, you get options. But if you're looking for a real crowd pleaser, the best bet is to go encrusted. This is how you do it. Take a nut of your choosing and put it in a food processor. Then. Double it up with a little bit of panko breadcrumbs. The nut doesn't matter here. It could be almonds, macadamia nuts, I'm using walnuts today, whatever nut you have. Just double it up with panko, give it a little blitz in the food processor. This is all you need for a basic coating to encrust your salmon. But here's where you can get creative. Add a little bit of lemon zest, maybe a little bit of smoked paprika. Uh, I like to add some melted butter into the mix, just a little bit, so that the breadcrumbs get nice and brown and toasty in the oven. To get this crust to stick to this fish, I'm gonna need a sweet and sticky sauce. Enter maple mustard. It's like honey mustard's rich Canadian uncle. And it's pretty basic. It's just equal parts of Dijon mustard and maple syrup. You could use any sweet and sticky sauce for this. Use teriyaki sauce for all I care. If you really wanna get top shelf about it, match the sauce to the nut that you chose earlier. Maple syrup and pecans are best friends. They get along every Thanksgiving in the forms of pies and sweet potatoes. If you did go with teriyaki sauce, pick, uh, pick almonds. I bet that'd be great. Do you remember that really, really long grill brush that I had that looked so dumb? Well, I took the handle off and now it looks very elegant. Salt it, sauce it, crust it. You got it, this fish is ready to go. By the way, we only crusted one side because the skin goes skin side down. Don't forget, let's cook it. Here's the general rule for salmon. For every half inch of thickness, at the thickest part, cook it for five minutes at 420 degrees. This is about an inch thick at its thickest portion, so I'll shoot for 10 minutes. I think this is the easiest recipe I've ever done on here. What are we gonna do for 10 minutes? Make an asparagus salad. Here's an easy way to make any asparagus-based salad look like it costs $14 at a restaurant. Take a vegetable peeler to it and make a couple little ribbons out of your asparagus. It looks really fancy. The added benefit is it's nice and thin, so you don't actually have to cook it. You can eat it raw. Win-win. Look, in the 10 minutes that it took to cook this salmon, I made some mashed potatoes and an asparagus salad. And this is perfectly done. You can tell by the way that it is. The bread got nice and crispy, a little toasty. The fish is looking opaque. Let me show you how to plate this thing. Plop some mashed potatoes down, give it a little swirl in the middle with the back of a spoon, and then fill the hole in the middle with that asparagus salad that we just made. And then top it off with your beautiful piece of fish. This is truly home cooking in its highest form. I'm gonna get some wine. What do you wanna drink with yours? Give me a Yoohoo. Yoohoo, chocolate milk. Yes, please. <laughs> cool. An excellent pairing choice, mademoiselle. You're so annoying. Honey, I only have two modes. I'm like a bed. Full and queen. <laughs> oh man. You better pray I never get hungry. <laughs> wow, Bree, you ate your meal so fast. Your turn. Do you want to eat mine? First of all, yeah. There you go. You can eat mine. Thank you. Oh, she does this every time. Let me tell you what's in the Yoo Do you know what's in the Yoo What? Water, high fructose. Calcium, vitamin D, 99% fat free. 
90 grams of sugar. Oh my God. <laughs> the little flakes from the salmon topping goes into the mashed potatoes and it is yamalama ding dong. Okay, close your eyes. I got you. Where did you go? <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh. Cotton candy grapes. Whoa. Do they taste like cotton candy? Holy shit! <laughs> it's crazy, right? That's cuckoo bananas. That's cuckoo bananas. The world of YouTube appreciates honesty. And the honest truth is a Yoohoo goes with everything. The only thing I think Okay, this is done. Maybe what it with is like spaghetti. <laughs> Just because it's too saucy.